mean, there's a lot of stigma um, around social housing and it's interesting because I think it's something that is relatively new. There wasn't that stigma in the 1950s and the 1960s. Uh, the homes were new, people were over the moon when they got a council house or a council flat. Where I think it's come from is um, something in our society and I think it is a thing that is not just peculiar to British society, I think it exists in America with public housing, not so much in Europe. Um, I think you can trace it back to poverty porn, certainly those kind of narratives I think are damaging. Programmes like Benefit Street, Skint, On Benefits and Proud, um, the people that make those programmes certainly would not have necessarily gone out there to ridicule people that live in you know, council housing or claim benefits, but the net outcome is that people watch those programmes, they see the people on them and they think, Christ, I don't, you know, I'm glad I'm not like that, and it devalues them. And so I think you know, the stigma exists and people you know, may not be aware of it that live in those houses and live, in, you know, live on those estates because they don't see it, because you know, most council estates... Um, you know, aren't like the narrative of the sink estate you know, that David Cameron mentioned a few years ago. Um, you know, the estates, not all of them, but most of the estates that I've ever been on um, have been places of community, of places where people trust one another. Um, there's a brilliant poem um, written by um, a woman called Eva Rose where she talks about her estate in Wales and how you know, living there doesn't make her poor, it leaves her rich because of the people that she lives with, the people who are around her.